I wanted to uh, come into your space today uh, to share the following with you. This man is known for being the smartest sharp businessman in Africa. He has won multiple awards of entrepreneurship on a global scale. Uh, this, this award is definitely not mine. This goes to my wife. Uh, we've, we've been married for an incredible... For those who didn't know, Vosi is the co-founder of my growth fund company. His company is a venture catalyst that supplies development and enterprise development firm. Lastly, he has a global speaking business. This is more like a motivational business incubation for leaderships and classes of knowledge. If you can't disappear from your business for 90 days, you're not an entrepreneur. You're what we call self-employed. <laughs> the man has a power tone voice of public speaking and motivation. He has won several awards around the world. Well, most of his income comes from public speaking. This type of business speaking is mainly used to attract more people in the business world. He makes a lot of cash on it by selling his knowledge and business, like seminar and business gala dinner in hotels. For every year he makes $67 million, which he equals to 1.2 billion rands annually. Busi once said that in future he's planning on starting a property business. Since real estate is a good investment in Dubai and London, comment your thoughts on property investment, is it good or bad? Overall, it's estimated that he makes around $100 million a year, after tax deductions which he equals to 1.8 billion rands in South African currency. Well, for your information, Vusi Tembekweo is currently worth $600 million. That's 11 billion rands in South African currency, according to South African website. Remember that Vusi is competing with people in privileged countries out there. Now let's us talk about his car collection. This is the most interesting part of the video. Vusi Tembekweo owns a Ferrari Pista 488 Spider. That car is powered by a 3.9 liter V8 engine, and the price for it is 10 million rands. That's a lot for a car. Plus, that's Vusi's favorite car on his car collection. On the other hand, he owns an Austin Martin DBS, which is a very unique car and it's worth around 4.5 million rands. It's more like James Bond movie. On top of that, he owns a McLaren 650s, which is also unconvertible and the price for it is 3.8 million rands. Plus, him and Caspin Yorvest had a car convoy together in the racing show. Surprisingly, he owns a BMW 7 Series, which is a cheap version of a Rolls Royce Phantom. The price for it is 3 million rands. The cool thing about that car is bulletproof and it has the latest technology that you can't think of. His last car is a Mercedes Benz SLS AMG, which is one of the rarest car on earth. The price of his machine is 5 million rands. I wish, one day I could buy one for myself, because that car is a perfect work of art and engineering. Plus, every year that car, gains value, because of its quality built and performance wise. In total his car collection is worth around 26 million rands, can you imagine? The man likes to cycle his bicycle to work and I don't know why. Maybe it was a one sort of thing, who knows. Interestingly, Vusi Tembekweo is a racer as well. He likes to bet on cars, especially Formula 1 cars in Johannesburg. Well, comment your thoughts about Vusi Tembekweo's car collection. If you made it this far, just quickly like and subscribe to the channel please. This will help Marshall TV channel to grow and release more videos like this. Please also make sure to share this video using the link. To spread it around Africa and the whole world. Moving to the surprising part of the video. If you didn't know, Vusi Tembekweo stays at the 50 million rands mega mansion somewhere in South Africa. Honestly, he has a big, large-scale house, like Patrice Matsipi's mansion. Make sure to check out Patrice's video of lifestyle on the pop-up link on the right-hand corner of your screen. The mansion was recently bought years back and he sold his old cheap house. The man doesn't spend much of his worth. He once said he's planning on building and leaving a generational wealth for his family. Personally, I think the Vusi is very responsible when it comes to money. Vusi has a good taste in watches. He has a Hublot watch called Big Bang Original Gold. This watch has a mechanical movement on it. The price for it is 500,000 rands. That's a lot for a Hublot watch. His second watch he has is a Rolex date just 44mm with a blue dial. As you see on the picture, well, the price is 250,000 rands, which is very affordable. Anyways that watch is a stainless steel. Lastly, he has an Omega Speedmaster watch, as you see on the picture. This is the classic watch used to be worn by James Bond. 
Anyways, Vusi is a big fan of James Bond. Well, the price of the watch is 250,000 rands. Although, he was caught wearing a fake Patek Philip watch that doesn't exist or made by the company. Overall, that's all about his watch collection. For your information, Vusi Tembekeo is the third richest black man in South Africa. After Patrice and Cyril Ramaphosa. Honestly, I'm proud of him and he's so young. He's just 38 years old. So let me ask you a question. Do you own your business or does your business own you? Over the past decade working with entrepreneurs, founders and business owners, one of the things I've learned is it's crazy how the thing that you started, this business idea that you had, that you converted into an actual business, becomes a prison. You go from starting a business to having a job. You've got to be at work every day doing the job because if you're not there doing it, there's nobody else to do it for you. And so the question to ask yourself is how can you get to a point where you work on your business, not in it? An overused expression, but powerful nonetheless. The question to ask yourself is how can you get to the stage where the systems are the code of how you built your business is what runs your business, where you can think about your business, where you can operate at the level of making massive moves with a single decision. That's about building processes, systems, and an enabling environment and team to enable you to do that. So when we created the School of Scale, we asked ourselves one question. Can you take 90 days for your business and your business still thrive? If the answer is no, you are not an entrepreneur. You're self-employed. Now, nothing wrong with being self-employed if that's what you want. But if you're an entrepreneur, you want to take your business and scale it and build it from one level to the next, you want to be able to leave your business to the next generation or potentially exit it and sell it to somebody else, you need to put systems in place to enable you to do that. And that's what the school of scale is. We believe that there are five levels to business. The first level is where you're the professional, you know how to do the job, so you do the job yourself, you know how to do the gardening and the landscaping, you know how to do the plumbing, you know how to do the accounting, you are the lawyer, you know how to write the actual documentation. The second level is where you're self-employed. So you're still the lawyer, you're still the plumber, you're still the gardener, but you've got one or two people in your team to whom you can give off some of the side tasks that are important in you achieving the job. The third level is where you become a business owner. Here, you have other professionals working in the business for you, but it still requires of you to do quality testing, proofing, checking, it requires of you to maintain client relationships. Clients want to talk to you, they don't want to call the office. It requires of you to maintain those relationships with suppliers because if you're not there, there's going to be a problem. Something called key man risk, the business owner. In my experience, most entrepreneurs build from that level of professional to self-employed to business owner, and that's where they stop. Overall, that's all about Busi Tembekwe in year 2023 and lifestyle. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Plus, it was very difficult to make this video. Your effort is well appreciated. God bless you. Watch my other videos as well.